Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to draw up a sample space diagram. So this is useful if you need to list outcomes, if you have like two spinners being spun and you need to add the scores together, or if you've got two dice being thrown and, and again you need to add the scores together. Or it could be a coin and a dice like the first example that we've got here. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example. So a coin is tossed and the dice is thrown. So this is a normal dice with the num numbers 1 to 6. So I complete a sample space diagram showing all of the outcomes. Okay, so it's a little bit like a two-way table. So going across, I'm going to put the numbers on the dice. You could put the heads and tails if you wanted to along the top as well it makes no difference so I'm going to go with the numbers on the dice and then the outcomes on a coin I'm going to put down the side which are head and tail I'm going to use the letter H for head and a T for a tail and then we just need to fill in our outcomes in our table now so our first one would be head and a 1, so H1. Our next outcome would be H and 2, head and 2. Head and 3 next, so H3. Head and a 4. Head and a 5. And a head and a 6. And then we just need to do the same again for the tails. So T1, T2, T3, T4. T5, T6. Okay, so that's our sample space diagram completed. So this is useful if you get like an extra question which might say what is the probability of getting a head and a 3. So as you can see, all together in this table we have 12 outcomes. So it would be 1 out of 12. So let's move to the second example then. So we've got two spinners with the numbers 1 to 3 and a second spinner with the numbers 1 to 4. So the two spinners are spun and the scores are added together. So complete a sample space diagram showing all of the outcomes. I'm going to put spinner B uh, across the top. You could put it down there if you want to, it makes no difference. And I'm going to put spinner A down the side. So what we're doing this time, we're adding the scores together. Sometimes they might be like multiplied, so just be careful. So uh, 1 add 1 is 2. 1 add 2 is 3. 1 add 3 is 4. 1 add 4 is 5. So 2 add 1. Is 3, 2 add 2 is 4, 2 add 3 is 5, 2 add 4 is 6, and our final row, 3 add 1 is 4, 3 add 2 is 5, 3 add 3 is 6, 3 add 4 is 7. So there's all our outcomes then, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So again we've got 12 outcomes there. So I hope you liked this video, if you did make sure you like and subscribe, thanks for watching, bye bye.